Boris Johnson's half cocked government have called for another national lockdown. It's Tuesday the 3rd of November 2020 and I'm here in London to ask people how they feel about another national lockdown. I think it's ridiculous and I do. I've been made redundant, I'm now out of work. I've lost everything. I've lost my flat that I was renting out. I've now had to move in with another member of family. He's destroying everything. He's saying stay at home, save lives and help the NHS, but he's destroying the economy. To be honest with you, um, I feel depressed. And I know probably I'm luckier than a lot of people. Um, I didn't get furloughed. I had to work all the way through from home, the previous lockdown, but then got made redundant at the end of it. Um, but because I've worked there a long time, I did get a good payoff. So financially, I'm okay for now, although I would prefer to be working again soon. Um, and I just think that businesses looking around have spent so much money, and I know my old employer putting in plastic screens, social distancing, working out rotors for staff to go in so there are not too many people in, uh, PPE equipment, temperature checks, antibody tests, you name it, it's been available. And, and taxi drivers, the money they put in with screens, and now it's all gone back to square one. I think it's kind of crazy um, because I don't think another month lockdown is going to do anything, to be honest. I think it's just going to prolong the virus. It's going to prolong the, the risk of infection just to another month. I think uh, back in March, we had like two or three months lockdown uh, and the virus is still here. So I, I don't know what another lockdown is going to achieve, to be honest. And how will the lockdown affect you personally? Uh, personally, it will, it will probably, um, you know, I live, a, I live on a flat, like one bedroom flat. So it's like confined spaces. Um, so it's like, Uh, yeah, so it's going to be like cabin fever, to be honest. But other than that, not really. <laughs> what about you, mate? Yeah. What do you think of Boris Johnson's decision to do another national lockdown? We only believe what we can do. The only thing that we love, we just uh, we believe in Boris Johnson. We just want everybody to be happy. But we are hectic right now. My mom is not eating. I lost my granddad. I lost my mom. I lost my granddad, I'm losing. So all my gangs are, are, are losing too. So guess what? We don't care about him. We care about what we, what we can do. Right. Makes perfect sense, right? Thanks for your time, mate. No <laughs> Cheers. How do you feel about Boris Johnson's decision for another national lockdown? It actually um, affect me from what I lost my job three weeks ago. And um, I work in Overtel, so people cannot travel and book hotels. So a lot of people start losing jobs. For his decision is actually a very wrong decision. So you've lost your job because of the uh, lockdown and the, these COVID restrictions? Yeah, 100%. I know what's going on, but I know that my dad is 89 and he spent four months on his own during lockdown. Um, and I'm never going to let that happen again. I will continue to see my father no matter what happens. The joke is he couldn't get a food delivery because he's not sick and yet he was told to stay at home because he was over 70. So how, how is it right that people can't see him? What about old people in care homes? You know, I've got a friend whose mum is in a care home and he couldn't see her for months. And the first time he went to see her, he was told he could hug her. Then a different member of staff changed their mind, said he shouldn't have done it. And then he was put through hell for about five days, saying that he was going to be reported, that he was going to have to have a COVID test. He was in a terrible state because he'd been shielding himself. It, it's such a mess. 